everyone, what's going on? Today I'm gonna to teach you a basic bossa nova. First off, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit the notifications button, share it, do whatever you want. Also, if you need additional resources, visit spotsdrumhub.com. There you can book online lessons with me as well as purchase some courses. Also, when you sign up for my newsletter, you get the gig checklist, so go ahead and do that. All right, the basic bossa nova. It's a super basic groove for those who want to branch out and play different styles and genres of music, uh, especially if you're going into high school and want to play uh, in the jazz band or just getting it started in the jazz. It's just a great groove to know. So it starts off with eighth notes on our ride. All right, what we need to get used to is the foot pattern. Basically, what your foot pattern is doing is the bass is on one, the and of two, and then three, and then the and of four. So it's almost like kind of a heartbeat. Don't, 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 don't. With our left foot, it's going to play the hi-hat stepping on it, not with our hand, but we're stepping on the pedal on counts two and four, similar to just like a basic two and four groove pop groove. All right, now the snare part. I play a rim knock on this, okay? So I'm not actually playing the snare. I'm flipping my stick over because I want a meteor uh, side stick sound. And anyways, we play the two, three clave pattern. Now, if you don't know what a clave pattern is, it's the basis of all kind of Latin music. Not all Latin music, but certain Latin music. So we play a two, three clave in this bossa nova. So you're gonna play on counts two and three on the first measure. And on the next measure, you're gonna play on the one, the end of two, and then count four. So what you can do is try to get two limbs lined up before you add all three together. So for this example, let's go ahead and just play the ride cymbal part and then the feet part. All right, now let's go ahead and play the ride cymbal part and the snare part. All right, that's it. You can kind of mix them any two limbs you want, but once you feel comfortable with it, add all three and you get this. And that's the basic bossa nova. So what you can do now is put that in your back pocket, use that as inspiration and creativity for when you're coming up with parts when you're jamming with the band or actually just playing a bossa nova, whatever. Use it, make it your own, and I'll see you next time.